Welcome back. We're joined by Carla Pierce from the Carla Pierce Art Gallery. Great to have you back on the show. My pleasure. Yes, the last time I saw you, we were actually uh, in your garden yeah. uh, in Juniper, and that was a great segment as well. I really enjoyed that. Oh, that was really fun. It and was. The, the butterflies turned out beautiful. They I, did. I've got a few of them in the gallery. They look great. They're so much fun and yeah. good for the garden. Good for inside, too. Yeah. You know, bathroom. It's always hard to find things to put in your bathroom. It's true. It's, yeah. And, it is true. Uh, you know, the water won't affect it. And exactly. They're really fun, and anyone can do those. <laughs> exactly. Uh, today, though, we're switching gears, going back into painting, and there's a great story behind this dog named Emma, yes. a golden lab retriever. Tell us the story. Well, a friend of mine, uh, Rocky McAfee, he, his, he loved beautiful Emma, and this is like a baby portrait of her, but she's recently passed away. She lived a full, beautiful life, and he wanted a portrait done of her. So uh, we're, we're taking the image from uh, the baby Emma, and at the beginnings of her life, and isn't she sweet? But she, she is. And she was well-loved and uh, uh, happy now and, and doggy heaven, I and guess. doggy heaven. <laughs> yeah. And there she is as an yeah. old girl. Yeah, And lovely. I think it's lovely. Rocky McAfee, of course, uh, Rocky Tat Rocky's Tattoo Parlor. Yes. Everyone knows where that is downtown. Uh, but I think it's a great way to remember a cherished pet from the family, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I, I think that it's, it's lovely to have that memory because they are family. You know, we get mm -hmm. so close to our pets. And uh, this is just a nice way of remembering her. Yes, to me this seems like a challenging picture because uh, you're trying to sort of combine uh, the character but also the mm -hmm. youthfulness of the dog and uh, you've got sort of a rough outline here. Yes, yeah, the face is going to be a little bit trickier. Uh, I'll probably lay, leave that one right to the end and, and block in her eyes. We're going to warm them up a bit too because in the image they're quite dark mm -hmm. but I, I, I think that she's got some lovely brown eyes. I, I met her mm -hmm. as well. Oh good. Yeah, so she's a lovely dog. Now for somebody that's learning to paint, is that something that you would not get to until, like, like in terms of a, like a person or a dog, what's harder? Well, I always find painting a portrait is the most challenging thing to do. So we're not there yet on the show, but mm -hmm. it's it's in the back of my mind. I mm -hmm. might I might do one. I have to think about it. But animals are hard too because they're they're right there in in portraiture mm -hmm. because we want to get her likeness, and mm -hmm. that's that's important. Getting proportions right. That's the main thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Switching gears quickly as well. Of course, uh, we're sort of right in the middle of summer in terms of July and August, getting into the tail end, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, how are things going at the gallery? Things are awesome at the gallery. I'm done all my holidays now, so I'm, I am at work. <laughs> you can find <laughs> me there. And we have an art camp running the last week of August. And then September, I'm taking registration for all kinds of art classes, kids, adults. We've got a full menu. Fantastic. Yes. So are you going to start up a little painting yeah, before let's, we let's throw do a it. break? I think so we have another I'm minute. just going to go ahead and do a knife painting with mm -hmm. Emma here. And uh, I'm just going to start. She's quite light, so I'm just going to start right away with some light uh, colors just to, to sketch her in. Um, she's sitting by a wood pile, and I've altered the... the um, uh, the background slightly just to to make it a bit easier for us to uh there we go there's just a slight it. suggestion of blue in there i noticed yeah that that's because my paint can is slightly contaminated oh so this and wasn't purposeful no that's you okay can't really tell. it doesn't matter no it's it's okay because we're going in right away with some warm tones right on top of that white and uh this is called direct mixing, mm -hmm. where the paint is actually mixing on the canvas, not on um, the palette. And I didn't even bring a palette today. I just brought the paint cans uh, without a palette because I knew that we were going to go directly in. Once the sketch is done, do you yep. refer to the picture as much as... Uh, I, as much as I can, yeah. 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 Once we, um, because uh, we do want to... Uh, um, get that likeness and sometimes the sketch is it is what it is it is a sketch and and none of us are 100 percent all the time mm -hmm. so sometimes i do make mistakes and uh, we do want to uh, get a good feel of the the shape of beautiful little emma here it always amazes me how you can turn some s swishes of paint into something that actually <laughs> resembles something so much i just it baffles me how this happens in an hour yeah in an hour I, I, yeah it's um i've been painting for a very long time i'm a full-time painter so this is 
um, a skill that I've learned over the years. Mm -hmm. um, it, but it, it does take quite a bit of practice. Mm -hmm. But when you've done over, you know, a couple of thousand paintings, it, it, you get good at it. You know, you're really good at what you do too. So I mean, uh, a couple like, thousand shows. Yeah. And <laughs> there it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. All right. So eventually, I, I mean, can see that. You, you just you, you do get good. It yep, does practice. take time to learn. Um, I started painting very, very well, uh, very young. So I never actually stopped painting is, is the way that one went. Now I'm going to have some fun here. So for my dark color, uh, I'm, I'm doing purple. Well, we're going to let you get started yeah. on that. I have to throw to a break right now, but we will be checking in on Carla's picture as we go through the hour. There's the close up there. The purple's coming in. I'm still baffled. It's totally taking shape this fast. Uh, we are back in two minutes. Stay with us. As well, we're going to check in with Carla Pierce right now, who is doing a fantastic job of Emma the Golden Rat Lab Retriever. Carla, how's it going? Oh, it's going great. Uh, we've got the background in and I've uh, loosened up some of the colors a bit just to, to play, um, filling in some dark spots. Next comes up the eyes and the nose. Fantastic, it's looking fantastic. We will check in. There is the picture of Emma, just a pupper at this time. Yeah. Welcome back one hour later and we have a gorgeous picture here, Carla. Uh, Emma? Emma. Gorgeous. Yeah, isn't she cute? She really is. Sitting there hanging out. I'm, I'm going to put in her feet right now, her little paws here. Um, just pop them in. Now one of the, one of the things when you're doing uh, knife painting is you cannot overwork it. And um, I am right about there with the overworking because it right. starts to the colors will mix and they start to get muddy. So you have to sort of know when you're done. It's it's a bit like a watercolor that way. Watercolors, there's an end to them normally um, because the colors, the, the nature of the paint will mix together. And this is very similar as I'm moving the paint around and there's quite a bit of contamination. So I think at this point, I can't do a lot more to her face. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, I think a she little looks bit. beautiful. Yeah, she, needs a, she needs a little bit of hair though. I think I'm just going to give her a little bit of just a little bit of dark, dark around the eyes, make her look a bit more sweet. And of course, there's always that little bit of highlight I like to put in there as well, just to, you know, give it a bit of a shine. Adorable. I, I think it's amazing that you brought this to life as you have. It's fantastic. It's pretty fun. Would you take it from here then and let it dry? And then if there's little touch-ups mm -hmm. you want to do, or do you have to finish it while it's still wet? Well, you know, in theory, you want to work with it while it's wet, um, but sometimes I let it dry out and I hit it with a paintbrush. And, and so her eyes right now are, there's a lot of thick paint, so I'll let it dry and then I'll go in with kind of a warm brown and I might even use an iridescent with it. And then any little touch-ups that just aren't quite perfect. Sure, you sure. can do, and we call that glazing. So we make the paint very, very thin, almost watery, and then put it right on top of the layer so that you're not fighting against mm -hmm. all the texture that's there. You're just working with it. Yeah. So y yes, you can change it, but only a little bit. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, another winner, I'd say, Carla, for sure. Thank you. Um, just to, again, to remind people, if you are looking to find something for your kids to do and they're arts inclined, uh, the week of August 25th, there is a camp taking place at the Carla Pierce Art Gallery on Victoria Street. You can definitely check that out by going to the uh, website on the screen and you can sign up for that. Thank you for being here again today. Hey, thank yes. you. Yes, and if you're looking to have a portrait done, whether it's of your family, maybe not family, you do put, yeah, uh, more landscapes. We're, into, yeah, we'll stick right. to the pets. We're, we're gonna do pets for a little sure. while until I get up ner enough nerve to start doing good portraiture. Good for you. <laughs> good for you. But this is an excellent example of what you're capable of. So uh, information's on the screen if you'd like to check that out.